Yeah, the old though. It's been a while. I'm gonna pop some old batteries. Different setup just in this old work shed, so I'm not gonna bother taking the world all the way outside. I'm just run this near the doorway. Got a chopped in half clean made Maytag Speed Queen washing machine. I never ended up fixing this. This ended up being too much to fix, so cut it in half and me and my old men made a handy toolbox out of it. So the old farm trailer crushed the um bearing part with a drum that we on. So yeah, so it's flat based. Perspex and I chuck some batteries in. Let's start blowing some batteries. We'll start with this nasty generic Chinese leaky white hawk batteries. They should go off with a bang. Let's try them. Alright, the all the best I can do. Apologies for the glare. And this gig only allows one battery at a time. So let's try this one. Three, two, one. Oh, come on, I want explosions. That's more like it. Alright, I'll change another battery and we'll try again. Take two. Three, two, one. Come on, I want to pop. Okay, viewers, I've got other one of these rocket batteries. One of them is in there. I can only fit one at a time in this jig, so yeah, let's hope it does what it says on the battery. The other rocket battery. Three, two, one. Surprise, the motor's not under much load, which means I'm not really putting as much energy as I thought. Okay, viewers, different angle this time. The battery is connected, so I can it, so three, two, one. Yeah, that's probably a bit, that must be a full battery. Got more resistance which loads up the motor. Yeah. A full battery would tend to have a lot of resistance, which means it's going to load up the motor like that, like you heard in the background, transformer humming. Alright, so let's get a close look. Yeah, burnt to load of screws. The carbon rod sensor being intact, so I'll keep those. Put them across the rod to see how bright they glow. Yeah, the screw didn't take it at all. Alright, time for the next battery. And there's the other battery. So, one should blow up. That's the other pair, so let's plug in. Three, two, one. Next, got a generic Chinese Sonic battery. Let's see what that does. Three, two, one. That's better. I wanted a nice pop. All right, there it is. Okay, viewers, let's see if I get this back to the pop. Three, two, one. No. Hey, what the hell is going on here? Oh. There you go. Bad connection. I have to fix that. Then we'll try again. 
okay viewers, crappy screws are placed of heavy duty wood, wooden fasteners or tech screws, wooden type anyway, used for roofing this ought to be really good, so let's continue popping okay viewers, let's see what that leaky rock hawk does Two, two, one. Epic. That was epic. I want flames. I got flames. Yay. <laughs> okay, viewers, those big beefy screws have melted down a bit. Now I could fit two batches in there. So I'm gonna extinguish that right away. Man, that was epic. Yeah, those batteries were fully charged too, so that's probably why the rotor works so hard trying to blow them up. Look at that! Alright, extinguish time. Okay, viewers, it melted the bolt down some more, but let's try some more popping. See what this here does. Alright. Let me check something first, I've got a bad connection somewhere. Okay viewers, because this thing was working so long, popping the battery, it popped the, the, it tripped the 15 amp breaker. Three, two, one. Yeah, the battery's not popping anymore, I think it's open circuit. Let's try another one. Okay, viewers, to make it more energy efficient and easier on the welder, one battery at a time. Three, two, one. A battery must be bad also. Some batteries have a low resistance which won't pop or won't pass much current at all and won't do anything and some will just go mad depending on their internal resistance. Okay, viewers, last one for the day, a Toshiba. Hopefully this one goes off the bank. Three, two, one. Okay, it must have a bad connection somewhere, do we? Um, it would do too, it's a bit warm in that little connection there. Alright, let's try it out. Three, two, one. Okay, viewers, that battery must have very low distance also. That's not doing anything, so that's enough for today. So, thanks for watching.